In this VBA lesson, we're going to focus on three key areas. The first one is how to search and create a folder. The second one is how to search, open or create an Excel sheet within a folder. And the third one is about how to use wildcards when you don't have the exact name of the file. So let's start. If you see here, I have the path of a folder. So within my special folder, I have F1. And here within my special folder, I have F1 and then a file called ABC underscore one. So if we go to my special folder, you can see that F1 is not there. And obviously ABC underscore one is not there. So the first piece is about searching for a folder. If it doesn't exist, I'm going to ask the user if he or she wants to create it. So let's start. Sub dir function. First of all, we need to store this subfolder pass. So I'm going to do dim subfolder pass as a string. And then I'm going to do subfolder pass is equal to sheet one, which is here, dot range dot value. What is my range? It is here. It is D4. So I'm going to do this. The next thing I want to do, I need to use a function called dir, dir, to be able to do this exercise. And there, what it does is it will look into a certain pass and it will return something. So here, in order to store what it returns, I need another string. So I'm going to do folder name as a string. And here I can do folder name is equal to dir. You open the parentheses and you have two arguments. One is optional and one is required. The pass name is required. So what is my pass name? It is this one, right? So we have it here. So we just copy and we paste it here and then we do comma. In this one, if you are looking for a file, unless you are very peculiar, if you want it read only, etc., you usually leave it blank. But once you are looking for a folder, you have to use VB directory. So I'm using VB directory, close parenthesis, and I'm done. If you see here, I'm going to get the folder name if it exists. If there is nothing, I'm going to get a blank. So I'm going to do if folder name is equal to blank, then, and we do and if, and here we're going to do else. So if it's not blank, it means it exists. I can do a message box and say folder exists. We can just do this. Now, if it doesn't exist, I need to create it. How to create this? Well, there is a function called vba.mkdir. And what it does, it just requires the pass. So if you see here, the pass is what? It's subfolder pass, right? So here it will automatically create this. But as I said before, what we need to do is ask the user whether he or she wants to create it or not. So to do this, we can use message box. Now message box returns an answer, VB yes or VB no. We need to store this answer and if it's a yes, we create it, we use this. If it's a no, we don't create it. So I'm gonna add a dim here, dim answer as VB message box result. So this is how you get the result of the message box. And here I'm gonna do answer equal message box, open parenthesis, we're gonna ask a question. So create, for example, with question mark. And then here I need the style. In the style, there is something called VB, yes, no. You can also add cancel if you want for more scenarios, but I'm just gonna use this one. And the other arguments are optional, so I'm not gonna use them. So I'm just gonna close the parenthesis. And then I'm gonna say if answer is equal to VB, yes, then else and if. So if it's yes, we need to create it so we can move this here and we can say message box 
folder created. If it's no, let's just put a message box here and say folder not created. So let's try it out first. We're gonna run it. If you see here, it didn't find it because it told me, do you want to create it? I can say no, folder not created. Let's go here, there is nothing. Now let's run it and let's create it. We say yes, folder created, we go, now we have F1. And if I run it a third time, it will tell me that my folder exists. Now that we have done this, let's try to find if this file exists, abc underscore one. If it doesn't exist, we're gonna create it. If it exists, we're gonna open it. So assume that my folder now exists, which is here. And let's try to write the code here. Because as you have seen, I am putting abc1 under f1. So we're gonna write the code in this piece. To do this, it's nearly the same strategy. So instead of having subfolder pass and folder name, I'm gonna do Excel pass and Excel name. And I'm gonna store the pass, the Excel pass, if you see, let's just copy this, not D4, but it is here, it is in D5. So we're gonna change this and put D5. So this is one step. Second step, I'm gonna do the same. You remember how here I got the folder name from there? I'm gonna get Excel name from there. So Excel name is equal there. What is my pass? My pass basically is my Excel pass. And here I don't need the argument because I just need the normal file. And it's not a folder, so I can just leave it blank and do this. So now we get our Excel name. If my Excel name is blank, then we do something else and if. So let's do the first case. Let's assume it's not blank, which means it exists. So I can do workbooks.open and here I can put my pass. What is my pass? Basically, it is this one. So this is how we open the Excel file. Here, if it doesn't exist, I want to create it. So I'm gonna do workbooks dot, here you would have add, then we write active workbook dot, save as, and here I can just take my pass and save it, and then active workbook dot close. That's what we're gonna do. So if I go to F1, I have nothing, right? If I play, folder exists, this open closes, and I get my file here. And now my file is there. If I click folder exists, then my file will open. So this is how it works. Let's go to the third task. The third task is to use wildcard. So sometimes, like in here, I have a file which is ABC and then there is a date after it. So for example, it got downloaded from a system and you want to automate your tasks. You don't want to look at the date, you just want to open the file. And you want to do a file that contains, for example, ABC. So I'm just gonna take those two files, put them here. So we put some random files also in this. And let me explain to you how to do this. You're gonna use wildcards. So the most used wildcard is usually the star, this one. So if you do ABC star, it means I want the name of the file to start with ABC, and then I want anything after it, including the extension. Don't forget about the extension. If you do star abc.xlsx, this is the opposite. You want it to start with anything. It could be also blank. It could be just ABC, that's fine and then end with abc.xlxx. And if you're not sure from the start and the end, you just do star, abc, star. So this is how it works. We're gonna do a new sub to test this concept. Sub, test, let's call it test one, for example. 
first of all we need obviously the pass so the pass is this one and then I want slash and then one of those right so let's do dim pass as string pass is equal to sheet one dot range d4 dot value and backslash so here what I'm doing I'm taking this pass with f1 and backslash without the name of the file next we're gonna add excel name so let's do excel name is equal to dir what is my pass name it's pass and let's add star abc star double quotation the second argument i don't need to put anything because it is a file and then i have this so here i'm not going to do the same thing as up to check whether the excel name exists doesn't exist etc you can do this on your own i'm just going to do workbooks.open i need first my pass which is this one and my excel name let me show you by using f8 how it works so f8 my pass is what if i put the cursor you can see what is my pass then if i do excel name f8 see my excel name although i have put abc only it has abc underscore one dot xlsx and then you have the open which is my pass plus my excel sheet name i do this i get it open so those are the basic concepts about files and folders in Excel VBA. If you like this lesson, please don't forget to leave a like. I would really appreciate it. And if you have any questions or comments, you can ask me in the comment section.